Find the hole! Yeah! How many did we get? Well, I see bones. We got the skeleton. <laughs> There's another zombie. Whew. So yeah, if you guys are ever in a situation like that, and uh, you kind of place the, the TNT like I did, you always want to block next to it, because otherwise when it bounces up, it has the tendency to move back a little bit, and it would actually would have gotten stuck right there. And that would not have been fun, because then we would have blown ourselves up. Okay, so... See if I can do this. All right. Anyone else down there? Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to go around. See if I can't come at that place from a different angle. Whew. Wow, it's dark in here. <laughs> I kind of forgot how dark it gets. <laughs> Always darkness above me. Oh, and it's on both sides. That's... So not good. Dang it! <laughs> I think this cave just decided to prove to me that... Yeah, you think you're getting out of here sometime soon? Think again. Ugh. Jeez, it just goes on and on. And on. I cannot believe how massive a cave this actually is. Whew. Alright, let's light this up. Thought I saw something over there for a second. this time because it looks like it opens up quite a bit again oh Whew. what the? holy crap it's another skeleton spawner run run shoot no no <laughs> Is that a skeleton laughing at me? <laughs> Crap. Uh, I suppose that's what I get for jumping in way too quickly and way over my head. Uh, okay. Looks like we get to fix two signs this time. Alright. Uh, Crap. One. And I'm going to call that one a creeper death since he was actually the one who dealt the final blow. Still hoping Notch put something in where you can actually edit these by just clicking on them instead of having to rewrite the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, so. Three deaths. Since we first put the signs up. Alright, let's see. This will actually be my first time having to actually get into this. <sighs> all right. I think that's all I'm going to take. And since it's daytime, I think I will take the surface route and just hop my way on back. And since we're quite a ways away, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead to when I get back to where all my stuff should be littered about. Hopefully the skeleton will have despawned by now since we are definitely out of chunk. I hope. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you in a second. Hopefully the setting sun... You know what, on second thought with the setting sun, I'm just going to jump inside. Anyway, I will see you guys in a second. Ooh. 
Hi guys, I'm back, and so is Mr. Creeper, and I'm just about ready to pick up my stuff, but... <laughs> they won't let me get it. So mean. Alright. No! <laughs> I think I might actually lose my stuff for the first time in, like, forever. Uh, I gotta say, it, it's definitely a long walk back. But I'm still not convinced that I want to use the beds yet. Uh, let me, I'll just, I'll just take some food. Um, I'll pick up some more stuff on the way. And once again, I will meet you guys back there. And hopefully this time, there'll be no surprises <laughs> waiting for me. <sighs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. Looks like the creeper at least got rid of my old uh, stack of blocks. So hopefully this should be a little easier getting back up this time. Now let's see. Where did I die is the question. I think it was near here, wasn't it? Of course, the creeper did blast me quite a ways. Hmm. Of course, the question is also, where's the other stuff I dropped from the last time I died? Hmm. Could have sworn I was up there, and that's where we found the new skeleton spawner dungeon. Am I actually lost? Okay. Whoa, the floor is completely open in that thing. That's crazy. But yes, this is definitely where I was. Huh. Okay. Kind of wish I had some torches. <laughs> huh. Where's my stuff, game? Hmm. I mean, it's not like the creeper destroyed everything, did he? That was a lot of stuff. It was all my TNT, too. Hmm. Okay. I know I died right about here last time. Hmm. Let me take this back real quick. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Thought for sure maybe everything would have washed away into this. Okay. My stuff could not have just disappeared. Can't see. Oh, crap. Probably didn't want to come down here. Yep, definitely didn't want to come down here. <laughs> no torches. No arrows. No bow. I'm so unprepared for this. No, that's just gunpowder. What the heck? Where's all my stuff? Not cool, game. Uh, as I'm sure you guys are wondering why I did not update the sign again at Resurrection Station, that is because I was a little worried about making it back in time to get all my stuff. And I think that any time that it's actually a risk of not getting it back like just now, that I will try and hold off updating the signs until I feel like we're in a safer place to be able to actually be doing all that. You know, well, not me being a safer place, but me having my stuff back and feeling safe enough to actually go and do something about the signs. 
I hope that made sense. My mind is kind of racing about having just lost everything. Huh. Hmm. Well. I guess it's time to go back and make some new things. Sad. I can't remember the last time I've had to do that in this game. I think all the SMP weekends have kind of ruined me for caving in single player. I keep forgetting how hard it is without all the lag on the server. And the fact that the server is always on easy mode. And, of course, here, we are still on hard. Hmm. Well, at least I know the way back. Been through here enough times recently. Okay. I guess it's a good thing the last time we were in this cave we did, we did so well. I guess it, uh, finally decided to get even with me that my luck finally ran out. Hmm. Kind of depressing, actually. Anyway, I think I'm going to head back to our base up here in the cave. Remake everything, and I'll meet you guys back there, and we will finally get some danged vengeance! Vengeance will be mine! Yes! <laughs> See you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys. Here I am. I'm back. I'm finally re-equipped. Only iron this time. I think I learned my lesson. That uh, I'm not quite prepared for being in caves again with as much time as I've spent away from the game recently. So, I think we will go ahead and approach this slightly differently this time. Move with a little bit more caution. Not be so reckless this time. And hopefully, come out with... A decent amount of goodies this time. Let's see. Okay. Nope, didn't think so. Alright, where does this come out? In a very dangerous place, apparently. Yep. <laughs> okay, dead end. Good. Ah, my mouse. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it by now. I'd stop talking about it if it stopped being stupid. <laughs> That's a very large room. All right. Sure, we get this place well lit so we don't have any surprises on the way back. I heard something. <laughs> Getting a little more freaked out than I should be, I probably, but. Whoa, whoa. There you are. Wow, my aim is terrible. <laughs> There we go. Keep forgetting. Just strafe. <laughs> and they can't hit you for crap. Wow. He was almost in a very dangerous situation there, wasn't he? <laughs> Alright. Still moving cautiously. Looks like we have some dark lava over here. Let's see if we can't fix it. Hey, what do you know? That worked. Something I noticed I forgot last time we came in here. A bucket of water. A very much so necessity when wandering around this deep in the caves. As I'm sure I've mentioned to you guys probably a hundred times by now. But it's still good advice regardless. Not sure how much iron I lost from that uh, double team skeleton creeper combo back there, but... Considering how much we have back at the uh, the house, 
I'm not too concerned. Although, building this set of armor has almost completely wiped me for iron at the cave base. So I guess it's good we're... Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Hello. Yes. I guess it's good we're finding all this iron down here. <laughs> Amongst other goodies. 